Good morning, Nottinghamshire Madness fans. Another bike today. Another, another Pashley. This is a Pashley Pronto, <coughs> which is a, a cargo bike type of bicycle. Often used by the Royal Mail some time ago. Twenty-four inch front wheel with hub dynamo. Twenty-six inch rear wheel. Three speed Sturmy Archer. Hub brakes on both wheels. Absolutely bulletproof bike. Tremendously strong rear carrier. These are Royal Mail panniers manufactured by Caradice when Royal Mail decided to discontinue using bicycles for post delivery Caradice repurposed them and sold them out as a pair for about £60 cracking value cavernous and suit the Pronto perfectly fitted with a Dutch style frame lock here's the hub gears I think I've got a 24 teeth sprocket on there because I live on the highest part of town no chain guard um, I've got one it's not on because this bike sometimes has a a motor on it, a Bafang mid-drive through the winter but some I normally take that off and go back to normal pedals here's a front dynamo light a front hub the front carrier this Pronto I think was built for whistle which was probably part of one of the whatever carrier parcel carrier company has orange and white on the logo I think it's TNT I think whistle was part of, of TNT I think this box is called a Euro box and I think it's a standard size plastic boxed used for storing goods and transporting goods the Royal Mail bikes have a larger frame on the front swings and roundabouts as to which you have well this is quite neat because it's smaller than the, the width of the handlebars these are from, from Pashley new I think these are oh, 1600 pounds certainly a good a lot of money but they are a cracking robust bike for in town for carrying goods i found i've seen one or two of these x whistle, x whistle bikes and they all seem to be pretty rust free i think they've had not a lot of use but are quite damaged at times. I think they've been sort of stacked in places. The mud guards are generally damaged. There's a charity called Elephant Bike, which had these donated to them from the Royal Mail. And they refurbish. And they're really smart bikes. They've got an amazing range of colors. Really with it for this uh, modern era. And for every elephant bike purchased, one is donated to Africa. I think it's Africa. <clears throat> there are many bike projects in Africa who collect basically scrap bikes from Europe and take them over to Africa. <clears throat> Excuse me. And all the scrap bikes in Europe just won't stand African conditions. They're not built 
you know, these cheap mountain bikes that would never survive a mountain certainly aren't any use in Africa. But I think these are robust enough to handle the African roads. And I think Elephant Bike is a very worthy project. I've not, I do know about them. I've looked at the stuff on the internet and the videos on the website and I've seen the odd Elephant Bike kicking around and they really are a good, a good charity. Anyway, we need to take this for a ride. And as it's a cargo type bike, I shall do my Tesco land trip. <clears throat> so all I've got to do is stay on it. I live in Mansfield and we'll sample Mansfield's finest, a little bit of Mansfield's finest cycling infrastructure. So don't hold your breath. Bit of second gear. Just tootle along. I try not to show you too much sky. Might be difficult. Bump bump, this is cycle route this is. Multi-purpose cycle. Pedestrian route. Wheelchair route. Everything else. Maybe Maybe a mountain bike is more appropriate. Even a even a full suspension mountain bike, I'm sure it's probably more appropriate than than anything else on, on this surface. Here's a bus coming by. Let me show you the daffodils. Alright, we'll survive this. Over we go. Local pub. And a stop. All clear. Car is king. Back on the, back on the cycle route. <laughs> nice shot of the yellow, yellow line whilst we avoid the potholes. Sorry about the bit of shaky camera. I do uh, have a, a gimbal on order for the phone. I've got one for the GoPro. This is one of our quieter streets in Mansfield and we took off over to Tesco land. Mansfield's pretty, pretty well equipped with supermarkets. We're going to Oak Tree Lane Tesco Land, which is uh, one of the larger. Car coming out. Yeah, I'm here. And within a mile, there are there's Audi, Asda. Probably a mile and a half to the other great big Tesco Land. About a mile and a half to another Audi and Lidl. And then you've got all the little satellite, one-stop Tesco, Sainsbury's, Mini Mart type places. Um, looks like I'm the only one. I know a lady, a couple of coming here. Morning. Somebody else on a bike. This isn't cycle route by the way, this is 
well it is this bit cycle route but when I turn right here it's not cycle route it's pedestrian Nottinghamshire County Council had this fantastic idea about five years ago where they did this scheme and they spent thousands and thousands of pounds employing a consultancy firm to put cycle infrastructure into Mansfield so you could circumnavigate the town even a tourist route and as usual the did the talk, spent the money, I guess they had the lovely presentations in local hotels, I'm just going to dice, dash across the road here, and uh, so they did the talk, spent the money on all sorts of schemes and presentations and off we all went to the town hall and the council offices, absolutely fantastic. Patted everybody on the backs. How marvellous. And uh, when it came to doing the walk or the cycle, they went the other way. And uh, they spent an immense amount of money on some blue signs in Mansfield Woodhouse. Um, and not a lot else. And when questioned, I can't remember how much it was, two, it might have been two and a half million, I don't know. And of course the answer was that two and a half million doesn't buy a, a lot of cycling inf infrastructure. Uh, in Mansfield's case, it also doesn't buy many blue cycling signs and not a lot of paint. But hey ho, that's our local authorities for you. That's like a mini rant. To negotiate these barriers now. I'm going to stop. I can normally do it. I do run into them. Then we've got pedestrian crossing. I'm on a bike. Do we care? I don't care. Tesco land. So don't forget, within a mile of this, there are, I don't, I don't know more supermarkets than you possibly need this is our car dependent society which we all partake in all right now we'll survive the car park here we go yeah tesco land an emporium an emporium full of tat that nobody really wants but let's get in there and buy it anyway we just sit down through the disabled parking of course they've got dedicated bicycle parking for all those of us that live within them a mile of our local supermarket and we can uh, cycle here so look down as the gentleman passes by his young lad here's Tesco's cycle parking which is quite good actually because what Tesco's have done very intuitively that's not a new word for the Oxford English to put the cycle parking so close to the store window you can't actually park a bike at it I've told them but obviously nothing happens anyway don't think you're madness fans thank you for looking at my little video thank you for coming along to Tesco land I've got my mask I hope if you like please click the like thing please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video Goodbye.